The Caribbean is best known for its beautiful tropical beaches and palm trees, but it also has a very interesting geological history that started about 130 million years ago. The Caribbean plate is the 16th largest plate and about the size of the country of India. An interesting feature is that the Caribbean plate is submerged beneath the sea except around its margins, where most tectonic activity occurs and most people live. An amazing number of political entities are found on the edges of the Caribbean plate. 13 independent countries and 17 dependencies of the US, the Netherlands, France and the UK. The Caribbean plate is bounded north and south by strike slip faults and subduction zones at the east and west. In the south and north, it's bounded by the South American plate and the North American plate, respectively. Because the Caribbean plate is moving east relative to North and South America, the strike slip faults are mostly sinistral in the north and mostly dextral in the south. To the west, the Cocos Plate subducts eastward beneath Central America. In the east, the Atlantic Oceanic Plate subducts westward beneath the Lesser Antilles. The Caribbean Plate strike slip faults are geologically diverse. Some segments show compression or extension as well as strike slip behavior. This is called transpression or transtension. In the transtensional segments, it's common to find pull-apart basins. One of them is the Cayman Trough, where we find the shortest oceanic spreading ridge in the world, one that has been creating oceanic crust for about 40 million years. Another pull-apart basins are the Falcon and Bonaire basins in the Southern Caribbean. Here we can also find segments of an intraoceanic arc rotated and separated by normal faults adjacent to a thrust belt. That's what formed the Aruba, Bonaire and Curaçao Islands and the South Caribbean Deformed Belt, all expressions of both transtension and transpression. To the east and west, oceanic plates subduct under the Caribbean plate. We know this because the earthquake's hypocenters occur at a wide range of depths, between 0 and 300 kilometers from the pink and purple dots, going through the green dots, until finally the deepest yellow dots. That's what seismologists call the Wadari Benioff zone. Also, above these two subduction zones, is where the Caribbean Plate's recent volcanoes are found in both Central America and the Lesser Antilles. How and when did the Caribbean Plate form? This has been a matter of debate in the last decades. There are two models that can explain how it formed, the in situ and the Pacific origin models. In the in situ model, the Caribbean plate was created between the North American and South American plates as the two separated after Pangaea broke up in Mesozoic times. In the Pacific origin model, the Caribbean plateau formed above a mantle plume in the Pacific and migrated eastward into the gap between North and South America left by the rifting in Triassic to Jurassic times. The Greater Antilles Arc of Cuba, Hispaniola and other small islands formed above a south dipping subduction zone in Cretaceous and Paleogene times. Moreover, it collided with North America about 50 million years ago, accreting the northern part of the Caribbean plate to North America. This collision resulted in the northern strike slip margin we see today. Collisions also occurred in the south, 
where multiple accretion of oceanic terrains have occurred since the late Cretaceous to Paleocene, on the northwestern margin of South America. Today, we call the result of this 130 million years of tectonic evolution the Caribbean Plate.